Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church, Birmingham, Ohio. That's a great passage today. I hope it brings great comfort to you. It's found in Revelation 21.4. Revelation 21.4. It says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Revelation 21.4. You know what? Death and sorrow and crying and pain uh, are all part of the world. It's all part of man's fall. It is the product of us rebelling against God in the Garden of Eden. All, and we brought all those things into the world through our sin, the consequences of our sins. But you and I, when we get to heaven, there is going to be no more uh, no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, and no more pain. He says those are the former things. He's, that's not the new things. That's not what's going to happen in heaven. You're not going to have to worry about that. So you may be sick this morning, but hey, you when you get to heaven, you're going to receive healing forever. You may be dying here, and we all will go through that shadow unless the rapture of the church takes place. You know what? When we get to heaven, there's going to be no more no, no more death. And you know what that means? Not only more for us physically, but also no more losing of our loved ones uh, through death. We will live forever with the Lord. When we've been there 10,000 years, bright, shining as the sun, we have no, no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Amen? So we have uh, no more death and no more sorrow and no more pain and... Um, and no more crying. He's saying here that all the sorrows and the troubles and the trials that we go through in this life will be gone when we get to heaven. What a great promise. What a great promise. Too many people give up. And I, I get that. I mean, I visited people in, in hospices and, and, and chronic pain and they can't get enough medicine to ease and uh, ease their pain. They're up most nights. They're they're struggling just to find some comfortable place where they can, um, where they can finally close their eyes, and it seems to escape them. My friends, there's coming a time when you're not going to have to deal with that anymore. God has a plan for you if you've trusted Christ as your Savior. This is only temporary in comparison to all of eternity. It has no end, it has no beginning, and it has no end. And you and I will be there if you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Hey, these are words of comfort for uh, believers. But you know what? In truth, this is not true of unbelievers. Those who reject Jesus Christ will have pain. They will have crying. They will have sorrow. You know, they'll they'll live um, in e in eternity in the in the lake of fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. You and I need to be about our Father's business. Yes, heaven is real, but so is hell. So was hell. And so you and I need to be about our Father's business and to share the good news of Jesus Christ where, uh, with the loss. Amen? Amen. Well, don't give up and don't give in. God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.